Peace and love to all of you and welcome to this meeting of love. Dear friends, in previous transmissions, videos and in my speeches, you have always heard me affirm the predisposition to change to the extent that each of us can review certain personality positions, certain limits of our human condition and also dimensional. So, this invitation that we constantly receive from the light to become aware of our reality in the great change and of this preparation for the ascension process. All this, dear faithful, does not only concern our humanity. It concerns all the kingdoms of nature. It concerns all the conditions, the realms of light that at this moment all forms of life that are participating in the great change. And therefore, there are selections in the plant, mineral and animal life. New species that present themselves and others that go away. In short, the great change foresees an improvement, a perfecting in all sectors. Not to mention the great participation of the spirits of nature that we rarely consider. Indeed, often we do not even know the great work they do, for their own sake and for our humanity. So, man eats bread at the table without realizing what condition made it possible for this bread to be present, to be present on the table. Certainly, there is the condition of human physical preparation, what can be the grain is the flour, the miller, and that can be the human process. The man, in a religious profile, or for the intimate feeling, raises a thanks to the father for having bread, but then forgets, does not take into consideration the chain that makes it possible for this bread, this productive reality, to pass through all states of consciousness. I will explain better. If a great architect studies, thinks of building a great temple, a great cathedral, he will prepare all the projects and drawings. Then this great thought, this great thought operation, passes all the projects to the workforces. Therefore, there will be engineers who will calculate the foundations, the supporting structures, everything that concerns the structural part. So, simultaneously, there are Maison reworks, but it's not just this. There will be water works, there will be works of all that involves the plumbing, decorated windows, decorators. In short, I want to say everything that the workforces can bring as a contribution, as a realization of this magnificence. In the end, this great temple, this great cathedral that shines like a great jewel in the light of the sun, will be ready, prepared for what will be its manifestation. Now, the question is this. Who built this great temple? The engineers, the architects, the workmen? The answer is obviously everyone participated. And so, from the great initial thought of the architect, everyone contributed to make the temple, this magnificent work present, built. Creation in our universe. Everything works this way. Creation is a process where everyone acts, interacts based on the state of consciousness. So we can eat the bread produced because there are these great brothers, beings of nature that accompany us, who are the essence of the elements, that is water, fire, earth, air, ether. Logically, their contribution is so precious that it always comes to the detriment of creation, of evolution. They live on a parallel reality, they have their own laws, they have their own forms, forms that vary because they can assume, at their pleasure, since they are the essence, if we can say so, of the elements in which they manifest themselves. All of this is a state of understanding, of communion, that the earthly man too often forgets or does not take into serious consideration at all. In short, we make stuffed animals with the intention of representing these brothers, but then it all ends there, relegated to an extremely marginal value 
and condition. On the other hand, today we intend to call attention to honor these brothers and sisters, precisely because they perform their precious work, work that they have always wanted, but that at this moment is even more precious, precisely because we are in the final phase of the great change and therefore of the ascension process. Here, this is what I wanted and wanted to present and clarify and therefore in some way point out that this is a great work, a great convergence. Not less, the cosmic brothers who are at our disposal for this change and help us under all energy conditions. What can truly be the great transformation even with all the kingdoms of nature? Plants, minerals and animals. All participate in this change, this great divine gift, so that our unity may forever abandon the anger of dark centuries. So finally, our souls can truly be illuminated by that light, that eternal love, as we are emanations of the Absolute Source. Finally, each of us can shine as is our true nature in the context of a life, of a brotherhood, a great planetary confederation, to the detriment of all life. Well, dear friends, then I leave you to the images that follow, so each of us can better point out the work of these brothers, but also the great understanding, that great gift of light and love, which is precisely the Eucharist. Peace and love to you all. Unit with all. Below is further invitation from the celestial hierarchies to participate more consciously in the change for a new world. Here is what follows. The intraterrestrials, inhabitants of the planets of the Galactic Lions, ancient Atlanteans and Lemurians, beings of nature and their divas, the animal people and their guides, the plant people and the great teachers who have come to the planet Earth, are all contributing in their own way, each with their own skills, to the regeneration and saving of the planet. We cannot abandon the Earth to destruction. It is valuable to everyone, yet you will not be able to repair anything of this world that runs to ruin. I insist on these words that each can translate according to their own beliefs, their own education, their own genetic baggage. It is essential to erase everything that has been instilled without ever passing through the filter of your heart. Then you will see how far you have accepted to be deceived out of laziness of the soul, inexperience and gullibility. The only possibility you have is to let go of everything that concerns the old world. We are not telling you to fight, because the fight will only create opponents and delay unity, essential for the survival of your world. Build with thought, with words, with facts, what you want to see. Build a new world on new foundations. Radically change your way of thinking and seeing the world. Stop thinking about profit, but think about creating, offering, helping. Every time you try to make money or accumulate at the expense of the living, a part of you reaches out to those who gradually imprison you. Act with and for love before you are forced to survive and nothing more by those who invade your bodies and your souls. understand and put into practice the teachings. When you understand that life is not a duality, but a joy and peace, both within and outside of you, when you realize how many prejudices you carry and how many useless things hold you back, greatly lowering your vibratory frequency, when you have realized what your life is truly about, when you are able to live it, in joy, 
no matter what happens, when in the face of any situation you are able to maintain your serenity, your confidence, your faith, your vibratory frequency, will reach a level that will allow you to understand and receive what you are not yet able to understand and receive. For several years we have spoken to you a lot about the work you must do, even though this term does not correspond to what we have asked you to do, to understand and improve your behavior. Each one of you, over all these years, has understood what we were asking, based on what they had to become. We want you to understand to what extent you are prisoners of your habits and how difficult it is for you to change direction, to leave behind everything that, day after day, you have created around you, whether it be your ideas about life or your relationships with others. For you, it is difficult to be simple. Simplicity does not belong to the behavior of human beings. The human mind is so strong that it always needs to complicate life, relationships and even emotions. Try to discover who makes you act this way. Most of the time it is not the best part of yourself, but the limited part of your mind. The energy of the mind is very strong, so face it with the energy of the Divine Self, showing your mind that you have unmasked it. In this way you will no longer need to remain within your limits, in this palace that you have built within and outside of you. Day after day, throughout your life, you have built yourself badly. What you call education, as well as your desires, your fears, and especially your mistakes, have made you what you are. The materials you have used, year after year, are not of good quality. The true materials are called trust, faith, tolerance, acceptance, love, compassion, wisdom, letting go. You know them, but at most, they don't interest you because you don't use them, because the energy of your ego is so strong that every time you want to use new materials to rebuild or improve your home, the ego convinces you by saying, have you noticed how that person judges you and what they think of you? They don't appreciate you. Have you noticed how they love you wrongly? How they are not capable of loving you? The energy of the Divine Self, on the other hand, tells you, have you noticed how the people around you are grateful for everything you do for them? How they appreciate your kindness, your love and your altruism? But all of this doesn't make, however, this is not yet a part of your way of acting. As the energy of the small self gives way to the energy of the Divine Self by calling it to you, you bring it back to life, open the doors of your life to it, and it completely serves the precious being that you are. We see that you have great difficulties in putting into practice what you learn at an intellectual level. So we make you do continuous review until something clicks within you, until you understand your mistakes, your limitations, until you understand that you do not have to follow your desires but simply wisdom, compassion and love. We know for sure that you will overcome what you call challenges or difficult moments. If you don't rebel against certain moments that you find difficult, there will certainly be a surge that will bring you victory over yourself. You will have much more interest in using the new materials that are next to you and that you will use little by little to rebuild your home. Always remember that you are children of the light who work for the light and who will return to the light. For now, many of you live too intensely with your difficulties. You forget that you are light and that through this light the difficulties no longer exist, because they are simplified as if by a miracle. 
As soon as you remember this, you understand much better what the energy of the Divine Self really is. Learn to recognize the energy of little I, the energy of the ego, and the energy of the Se, the energy of the Divine, because you will have to face your difficulties, your barriers, again and again. If this happens, it is because the time has come to overcome them. As long as you have not accepted this passage, as long as you have not experienced it, you will encounter great difficulties. The world is on the march towards an immense transformation and you are part of this transformation. The Guardians of Nature Multidimensional Life The most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all art and all science. He who no longer feels emotion, who no longer poses through marble, who lives suffocated by his fears, is good only for death. Today we elves would like to talk a little bit about ourselves, about our world, which is just as real as yours, but for many human beings is simply a fairy tale. However, there was a time when our two peoples, yours and ours, we are closer, a time when humans have not yet put us on display in the children's bedrooms, a time when our activities, our joy, our happiness were well known to them. Remember, we form a great family, our thought very diverse. We live in the earth, in the water, in the air and in the fire. And yes, we could say that we are the essence of these elements. This is why our bodies take on very different appearances as soon as we decide to manifest ourselves. And it is also for this reason that men have called us by such different names. Just like you, we are, first of all, energy, or, if you prefer, spirit. You know that the manifestation of your energy, of your own body, contains all four elements of which we are the essence at the same time. However, each of us manifests only one element. We are all spirits of fire, air, water and earth. Together we form the spirits of nature, those that you call elementals. Once men knew that we did for them through nature, and they were careful not to destroy our work. Alas, today it seems that many of you have completely lost conscious contact with the source of life, nature, the earth. We see you living only for yourselves, and we are forced to retreat more and more to places where the air, the earth and the fire have not yet completely lost their purity, which make us deeply sad. We hope that men will soon awaken to take conscious awareness of their environment, their Mother Earth, and also for us. Sometimes the portraits that come out of imagination make us loathe a little bit, but it must not be easy to represent us. We do not have bodies of matter like yours, and we can assume all the forms we want or that are useful, depending on the cases. The matter in which we can manifest is called Ether, and if you are listening to these words, it is because you already know that everything in the universe is vibration. Matter, heat, sound, light, colors, ultraviolet rays, X-rays, souls, spirits, everything is vibration at a very specific wavelength. The ether that gives us life is a word where manifestations vibrate at a frequency that is usually not audible, visible or tangible to human senses. We say usually because some of your kind, especially children, still manage to perceive us and play with us. We reiterate that our word is as real as yours and perhaps even more so because it penetrates the cells of matter and makes them alive. Don't you feel that you too are an integral part of our world? You have forgotten. May men understand us 
better and realize the influence we secretly exert on them. May they realize they are not the only creatures in the world on an evolutionary path. There are so many other non-human peoples, but also with intelligence, who follow their own awakening path. Never forget it again. Promise? The importance of being able to interact with the five elements of planet Earth. Today we have forgotten that among us there are beings called invisible, who with each heartbeat work of the planet, organizing its various elements. There are those who provide for the growth of plants and the entire plant kingdom, those who are in union with the mineral kingdom, and those who belong to the world of water. In addition, some help the animal people and even humans. The invisible that populate our world are as numerous as us, and just as diverse. If so far, they had no interest in being seen or understood by humans. Today, in this period of great change, they wish to re-establish relations with the people living on the surface of the earth. They desire to be recognized but not for the need of recognition. It is to start a good understanding, a good collaboration, so as to allow the planet and its inhabitants to make the transition that awaits them in the best conditions. In the invisible worlds, there are many different races, each with its own specificities that determine its field of action. In these our times, which will soon also be part of the past, we mostly ignore that the little begins were already known to our ancestors. How, however, our world is becoming ethereal, which means that the beings that populate the etheric universe become more and more tangible and visible to our human eyes. This is a sign for them that it is time to return to collaborate with the inhabitants of the surface of the planet. When the humans of our planet understand how many of their thoughts and actions affect the invisible worlds and therefore themselves, they will stop surviving and will begin to live. Nature beings and genies Water Ask the water diva to come to you. If your heart is sincere, it will manifest with an inner feeling. Then ask it how you can help. Then send love and light to each of the sacred rivers. Finally, thank the diva, the own deans, male and female, and the water fairies for their contribution. Their fundamental task is to maintain clean sources and waters and to preserve and expand their therapeutic properties of the sacred waters of our planet, including thermal waters and also large sacred rivers that remain so thanks to the work of beings of great light who constantly pray and meditate inside and under their waters. Water is a source of purification and regeneration if charged with elevated thoughts. Communion with the spirits of water does not require preparation or speech. It should be able to take place in the solitary silence of the soul. From now on, when you bring a glass of water to your mouth, simply think, I welcome you. After natural assimilation, a remarkable life energy interacts with your light essence. Trust yourself. If life has decided to animate you, it is because you are worthy. Bless the changes that are gradually taking place. Fire Bright ether is associated with the element fire and is the home of fire beings, including salamanders. However, some air beings also belong, including elves, angels, sylphs, and sylphids. 
and also household genies. This ether is felt as light, warm wind more than seen. Let's think about the great volcanoes on our Earth. We ask for the help of the Deva with the same level of involvement as previously done for water. After listening to the response from chakras 4 and 6, we send love and light so that fire can cleanse and purify everything that needs it. We thank the Fire Deva and Salamanders for their help and offer fragrant plants, spices or grains of incense as a gift. The sun is also part of the fire energies. Let's honor it. Earth. We send our thoughts of light and love to the continents of the planet Earth. This will be a moment of connection with the great being of our planet and with the Earth Deva as an element. It is in this ether that essentially all of the little people of the Earth element live, that is, gnomes, dwarves and corrigans. What they do for us, of course, they do for the Earth, and this is thanks to their work that plants and trees assimilate the energy of Mother Earth. They live in communion with the roots of any type of plant and make sure that they harmoniously draw energy from the soil, assimilate it and transform it into life energy. They also watch over hidden treasures underground, such as certain metals and precious or semi-precious stones so that they can continue to dispense their energy along the great subtle circulation channels of the planet or Nadis. They are also very careful to guard sacred places, archives of the world or of the words that have sunk. On each continent of the planet, we send rays of love and joy in the six directions north, south, east, west, zenith and nadir. We thank the Earth Deva, Gnomes and the great being of which this planet is the body. Air. This element is also a bringer of light, love and energy. It contains great potential and serves the planetary flow as well as a career. When we sense its presence, we visualize the main winds of the Earth and send them, as well as the sky and clouds, the rays of chakras 4 and 6, bearing love, peace and joy. We thank the Diva and the beings of this element, the elves of fairies of the air, for their contribution to the planet Earth. We also thank all birds that are their messengers. We offer essential oils, spreading their fragrance around us. Ether. It relates to our memory abilities and the ability to structure thoughts. It can reflect what we think, but also what we have stored in memory or what we believe in intensely. It's like a mirror, but this mirror is often made of distorted glass by those who hide in the shadows. As a thank you for this fifth elemental dimension, we emit sounds, for example, mantras or other sounds we feel inside, as long as they are intentionally charged with love, peace and blessings for all. Let ourselves be absorbed by the infinite. Recognize the etheric life particles. They are the food of our subtle bodies. They nourish the chakras and their qualify effects part of our energy. When in yoga we talk about prana, these are the particles. And if breathing is so important in some practices, especially oriental, it is pricelessly because in this way the etheric life particles can clean and energize the most hidden corners 
of our subtle organism with the necessary repercussions on the physical body. Ether, therefore, constitutes a good basis for understanding better the contacts we might have with all beings in nature, since we ourselves are partially composed of the subtle matter in which these entities live and operate. Remembering that your world is approaching an extremely important choice moment which will have repercussions on our universe and all the other worlds in the solar system. That's why we care so much for you to consciously participate along with us to ensure that the energy that will flood the planet is that of unity and not the dual one that you have practiced for so much of your time. The choice you are about to make will be between the illusion of material goods and the reality of spiritual values. Everything is still in your hands, and although the choice has already been made on other planes, everything can still change. Good! With this state of awareness, let's prepare for the moment when we can experience this moment together. Now we move and we all find ourselves together in the midst of nature, a lush nature where we immediately feel the effluvium, the well-being that this nature offers us, welcoming us in this moment. Our souls relax. There is a complete, full interaction in feeling not only the sense that nature emits, but also this serenity with all these colors that surround us. It is the total well-being that immediately takes hold through our souls. Now we will all sit down on the ground in the yoga position and create a nice circle all together. This moment of reflection, this interaction with nature, this participation is just an immediate response to what has been requested of us, what has been reminded to us. Now, in front of us, in the center of this circle, some multicolored light particles dance and aggregate, unite and gradually this dance of multicolored light elements forms and manifests the bread. Similarly, these particles unite through this dance through this harmonious aspect and begin to manifest a chalice for the wine. Now each of us, with the blessing prayer, gives thanks to both the bread and the wine. Now we raise the bread towards the sun disk in the affirmation, I receive you in me. Let's all eat it. And now we raise the chalice in ourness in the affirmation, I am, I am light, I am love the renew through of unity with the Holy Spirit. Let's all drink it. And now we share this moment of communion with all of nature, with all the brothers and elements of nature that have accompanied us and participated with us in this so important moment of communion. Now we donate and share with all the brothers who at this moment are tuned into the light of love and we offer Mother Earth to all our brothers and sisters a moment of sharing and therefore of reintegration with every soul and every expression of life. From a blue star, a ray of light for the Earth people. Your world is in such need of love. Humans are in so much need of love. From their birth to their return to other spheres, it is love that is their most important concern, manifested or not, it is love that takes the largest place in their heart and life. Often suffering humans reject this love, a human cannot live without love. Love manifests at every moment of your life, but often you don't see it because you're not ready to see it, because you don't have necessary awareness to perceive it. Love manifests in nature. Love manifests with a gesture, with a smile, with help. Love manifests from us 
with a very important help, but you don't know how to recognize it. Live love every second of your life. Breathing can be considered an act of love because you're breathing universal love. Everything that is energy around you is love. Everything that is manifestation is love. Any word exchanged can be love without you realizing it. Love has millions of phases and love is present in each of you at every moment. In the morning when you get up and open your eyes to life, you are already in love. Love is inaccessible to you because you give it a value it don't have. Too often, you confuse love with possessiveness, the deep desire to bring back what you want. And that's why love makes you suffer. And that's why you can't understand what love truly is. When you listen to us, you are in love. You manifest this love in your heart, in your energy. We would like so much for you to learn the reality of love. Tomorrow your world will be love. Tomorrow all your brothers and yourself will live this love. This love will be a high-level sharing, a new consciousness that will be born in the hearts and minds of men. We would like you to seek this love around you so that you become truly aware of it. This is of a great importance for the great transition, for the transition to this world that we have promised for so long, this world of beauty, this world of purity, this world of love. It is essential to prepare for this great event, because if you don't prepare for the advent of this immense love, you may be unhappy in an idyllic world where you won't understand what love truly is. Love is seeing the joy in the other's eyes. Love is feeling peace in your heart. Love is rejoicing in the happiness of others. Love is rejoicing in the beauty around you. Love is present. Love is within you. Learn love. Instead of being often worried or desperate, be confident and in faith. Be in the joy of this love that you will manifest. Do not put any more barriers between you and love. Accept it in all its forms, in its purity and in its beauty. Everything is one in the sacred Eucharistic gift. And now let's thank the Father, the Absolute, for giving us this opportunity to better serve, to better love.
creatore di tutto, vi amo così come siete, amati figli, venite a me, vi ricorderò chi siete, emano dalla mia stella blu, un raggio d'amore, unitevi figli, unitevi nel mio eterno amore. Così sarà